but it's just like the, the bumps. yeah so like on the bottom side so you either go you go to the right side if you want to see people yeah and like friends or whatever in the left if you want to go to all the rocks and or if you just want to be alone and avoid people so that's yeah. always like that's where you live <laughs> like that's always the rule if like you're going down there because like a lot of people especially in like channel people go in there to hang out uh -huh. but yeah so always go to the left side and I just like having that ability to be like I'm five minutes away from the beach like I, I don't know that just seems like crazy to me that like people are so far away well when we get a boat I'll teach you how to drive it you will learn and you'll want to because if you really just want to get away and chill out there's nothing like it just to get away on a boat yeah I mean I would take my te teddy Teddy, breathe. I don't see Elsa. I would take the boat, but we had a sailboat, I would take it out and I'd sail around to the coves, like Abalone Cove or Granada or whatever. Teddy, breathe. Elsa's not down You got there. your answer, no, you have, you have poo. I don't want any more yelling, you're done. And, uh, yeah, go into the coves or whatever, drop my drop my anchor and just like relax, take a nap, read a book, drink some bubbly wine, like just zone out. It's called like a rock to sleep. I'm really thinking about it. It's called me out. It's me sleeping. So in addition to taking the kids out and telling you'll be fine, Kristen's exaggerative, she'll survive, she won't jump in the water. They might fall in. Trying to reach out, touch him. She'll jump off and she'll have a life vest. She'll jump in once, get pissed off, and she won't do it again. Teddy's anything, you know. Ted, if Teddy's anything, she's not a sucker. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to go, but that'll, that's kind of the same deal, and then you don't have to worry about anybody coming to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> you basically are on an island and, you know, all by yourself. Seriously, just save half the money and go move to Phoenix. Right? From Gardena to Phoenix? No, just move to Phoenix. Like, if you're going to live in Gardena, you know, if you're going to live in a place that's hot, because Gardena, the country is hot. It's hot yeah, there. But we, I was never really there. No, no, I'm not like, talking about you. I'm talking about Homeboy. And just, like, why, why? Oh, no, no. He's going to Glendale. Oh, Glendale. Glendale, sorry, yeah. yeah. Cause yeah, that's super hot up there. I just don't get why anyone would live in Glendale. People are like, oh, Pasadena is rad as hell, and I'm like, well, it's cutish, but it's hot. I just don't get LA in general either. Like, you you want to live in your like nice little loft up there and like try to gentrify everything? Like, I guess good for you. Live in hot, stuffy LA. Your most exciting thing to go towards is Echo Park. Daddy. <laughs> what? Daddy. Teddy. Yeah.
it's not it's not the nicest. Like it's nice. It's cool to go to. Like well, for and a I could see trip, I could see like I like living in LA for like the dense urban culture. Culture. Like I get that. Like that that when you know, especially when I was younger, Teddy, I got we heard you. We gotcha. Hi. Um yeah, like I like that. I do enjoy it, but I'm still not the same as this. Like, and I'd rather live always... in like the LA city than the Phoenix city, you know. Yeah. But, yeah, we can always go. We can always go. You can hop on the silver line, you know, to drive. I know. Maybe too, because it, it's like, okay, so growing up down here, as far as we're going to go from Manhattan Beach is maybe like Redondo Beach. Like, that's far to us. Right. <laughs> so, like, whenever it's, like, the thought of, like, oh, we're going to L.A., it's a, it's a trip. Like, we're, like, it's planning it out. It's a commitment. <laughs> it's a commute to go there. Like, that's always been the mindset of, like, L.A. to me. And to him, it's like, oh, from Glendale, it's, like, 10-minute, 15-minute ride. So I get it. It's, like, a totally different mindset. And plus, too, whenever I'd go to L.A., it was, like, to, like, go visit my dad at Twin Towers or something. So, I think I also, like, associate it with that. Sure. But that was always fun. We'd go to, like, Alvaro Street. No, that's downtown. It's like right up the fashion district. Oh, uh, no. Urban district or whatever. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Charlie, there's the Goodyear blimp. See right in front of us? Look in the sky. There were some videos going around like a couple months ago yeah. where people were taking videos and it they must have taken it at a weird angle or something was going on with like the air that it made the Goodyear blimp look like more like a flying saucer. Okay. So people were like freaking out about it. They're like, oh my god, like it's aliens. And people were commenting like, no, it's just the Goodyear blimp. You're stupid. You're so dumb. Well, it's behind that building now. We drive by it a lot when it's on the ground. It's one of my favorite things in movies where they're always like alternate universe is like they have blimps everywhere. That's always like the like cue of like this is another alternate universe other than our normal one. It's because of the blimps. Right. Or airships. Well, they had a ton of airships, right? In that World War II. And then something one, happened, two. right? That no, planes just got faster and more effective. We could shoot them down easier. Nobody for, wanted to do that slow. <laughs> but I mean, people still take trains. Oh, there's you can you can take a uh, dirigible, of, you know, trips or at least you could for a while. I know there, there's a company doing it. It's just not yeah, it's it's just not the most efficient way of doing it. But I think it just evokes kind of the, not just the actuality of what happened in uh, Nazi Germany, but in the propaganda and them using all these blimps to survey all the actions of everybody. Mm. Shot first this place, Rock and Brews, years ago. I applied for a job and they didn't hire me. And they put me through like 80 fucking interviews and then just ghosted me. I'm like, bro, just tell me you don't want to hire me. You don't have to ghost me, like. So basically, F Rock and Brew. 